Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome is named after Karl Wernicke and Sergei Korsakoff, the physicians who discovered the condition in the late 1800s. Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome is caused by vitamin B1 or thiamine deficiency, and it refers to a spectrum of disease. Wernicke's encephalopathy is the acute, reversible stage of the syndrome, and if left untreated it can later lead to Korsakoff syndrome, which is chronic and irreversible. Thiamine is typically stored in the liver, and absorbed in the duodenum and then moves throughout the body, where it's involved in numerous cellular processes that require thiamine. The enzyme thiamine pyrophosphate synthetase transfers a pyrophosphate group from ATP to thiamine, turning it into the coenzyme thiamine pyrophosphate, which is the metabolically active form of thiamine. Now, as a coenzyme, thiamine pyrophosphate functions to assist other enzymes carry out reactions, like pyruvate dehydrogenase, alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase, and transketolase, particularly regarding glucose metabolism. Furthermore, within the brain, thiamine pyrophosphate helps metabolize lipids and carbohydrates as well as maintain normal amino acid and neurotransmitter levels. In some neurons, thiamine even helps with propagation of neural impulses down the axon. Given its multifaceted role, a deficiency of thiamine can have serious consequences. Specifically, thiamine deficiency impairs glucose metabolism and this leads to a decrease in cellular energy. One of the major causes of thiamine deficiency, and therefore Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome, is alcohol abuse. Alcohol leads to decreased thiamine levels in various ways. First, alcohol interferes with the conversion of thiamine to its active form, thiamine pyrophosphate, by blocking the phosphorylation of thiamine. Second, thiamine is normally absorbed through the first portion of the small intestine, called the duodenum. However, ethanol prevents this absorption process, and it's believed that alcohol does this by reducing the gene expression for thiamine transporter 1 within the intestinal brush border. Third, chronic alcohol abuse can lead to fatty liver or cirrhosis, which interferes with the storage of thiamine within the liver. Other causes of thiamine deficiency are inadequate intake, like in malnutrition and anorexia, or due to malabsorption, like in stomach cancer and inflammatory bowel disease. The brain is especially vulnerable to impaired glucose metabolism, since it utilizes so much energy. Early on in thiamine deficiency, the cerebellum gets affected and that can affect movement and balance. In addition, the brainstem can be affected, and that's the region that gives rise to the cranial nerves that provide motor and sensory innervation to the face and eyes. If the medulla region of the brainstem is affected, it can impair the heart rate and breathing. Later findings in thiamine deficiency are hemorrhage and necrosis of the mammillary bodies. The mammillary bodies are two small round structures located under the brain and are part of the limbic system, which is responsible for memory, emotion, and behavior. Now, Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome can be thought of as a spectrum of disorders. Wernicke's encephalopathy symptoms happen first, and can eventually develop into more severe symptoms found in Korsakoff syndrome. Wernicke's encephalopathy is characterized by ophthalmoplegia, meaning weakness or paralysis of the eye muscles, as well as ataxia or unsteady gait, and changes in mental state like confusion, apathy, and difficulty concentrating. An untreated Wernicke's encephalopathy can lead to coma and death if not treated quickly. Korsakoff syndrome, on the other hand, mainly targets the limbic system, causing severe memory impairment. This includes anterograde amnesia, which is the inability to create new memories, as well as retrograde amnesia, which is the inability to recall previous memories. One of the characteristic findings of Korsakoff syndrome is confabulation, in which the person creates stories to fill in the gaps in their memory which they believe to be true. Not too different from what young children sometimes do in retelling a story. Diagnosis of Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome is typically made by clinical impression of the presenting symptoms as well as basic blood and liver function tests to measure thiamine levels. Sometimes diagnosis can be confirmed by an MRI, which would show degeneration of the mammillary bodies. Wernicke's encephalopathy is considered a medical emergency and must be treated immediately to prevent the development of Korsakoff syndrome. 
The therapy is an infusion of thiamine over a few days to get rid of the deficiency. It's usually given alongside glucose, but it's important to normalize the thiamine levels first because without thiamine pyrophosphate, most of the glucose will become lactic acid and that can lead to metabolic acidosis. All right, as a quick recap. Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome is caused by thiamine deficiency and is commonly seen in chronic alcoholism. It's a combination of Wernicke's encephalopathy, which consists of the triad of ophthalmoplegia, ataxia, and confusion, and if left untreated, might result in Korsakoff syndrome, which manifests as aphasia and confabulation. Treatment involves the prompt administration of thiamine, followed by glucose, 